Hey, yo, why is this stormtrooper looking at me like this? Oh. Hello. I started this gangsta shit. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, I get hello. I started this gangsta shit. Oh, oh, oh. And this the mother. Oh yeah, welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. Happy Halloween. You're listening to Ethan Van Skyver, world's most charming man and great big Star Wars fan. Great to be here with you today. Glad you could join me. Uh, movie Web, TK421, Stormtrooper had a secret gay romance in A New Hope. You know, I've seen I've seen Star Wars A New Hope 150,000 plus times. I would, I would say probably more than 150,000 times rather than fewer than 150,000 times. That's just my guesstimate. Uh, and I never noticed that. And I think I would have noticed that. I think I would have recalled the gay romance of a stormtrooper in Star Wars, uh, you know, episode four. I would have remembered it. By the way, this is an old article from MovieWeb that somebody sent my way. I really do appreciate it. This is uh, from October 4th, 2017, um, when things were still bright and sunny uh, on a Star Wars fan's horizon. They didn't know what lay ahead. Uh, you know, yeah. Imagine if uh, it was two months right before a uh, nuclear holocaust. Things were going just fine. Everybody was excited. They didn't know the devastation that lay on the horizon. And us, we, uh, being a full one year past that date. It's a full year. Full year. Uh, now we know. We know what uh, what was waiting in store for these fans. And we are sad. Brian Gallagher writes this. Uh, Does this article predate Kevin Berwick and B. Allen Orange? And their chicanery, um, does it? I think it does. Uh, but there's still some chicanery in store. While fans wait <laughs> for the highly anticipated Star Wars The Last Jedi, just take a minute and feel for these people. I feel like singing The Way We Were. I mean, it is it is so very, very sad. They didn't know what they were in store for. They didn't know the soul-crushing uh, experience. They were two months, two months away from fully understanding that Star Wars was dead and unsalvageable. Uh, and uh, they had joy in their hearts. Uh, alas, uh, it was only two months away. Fans have been getting a slew of new details on Star Wars A New Hope and other Star Wars movies thanks to a new book released this week entitled Star Wars from a Certain Point of View. Uh, the book tells 40 stories from 40 different authors. That's too many. It's too many stories. It's too many authors. Uh, half that and then have it again. Uh, to celebrate the 40th, and, and, and by the way, do not include Chuck Wendig. I'm, I'm sure you wouldn't now, uh, but back then, do not include Chuck Wendig. Uh, to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the iconic franchise uh, by telling untold stories that answer some questions fans didn't even know they wanted the answer to. For instance, we reported yesterday that the Boba Fett No Disintegrations mystery was solved by one story in the anthology. I didn't know that was a mystery. I just assumed. I didn't know that there was a question as to why somebody would not want their bounty disintegrated. I don't want him, do not, please do not, please do not disintegrate uh, the person that I am asking you to bring to me. Please do not. I would like a human being that I can taunt, belittle, scorn, mock. I don't necessarily want just a handful of human debris, uh, smoking human ash uh, in my hand. I would prefer if you did not disintegrate, did not disintegrate Han Solo. Is that okay? Uh, mystery solved. Unless you're a complete psychopath. Mystery solved. You would have to be a complete psychopath for that to be a mystery. I resent the implications uh, that this book offers to fans. Um, yeah. Uh, and now another mystery from A New Hope has been put to rest involving the infamous stormtrooper that was never seen. TK421, the stormtrooper who infamously, infamous, infamously garbage here, wasn't at his post in A New Hope. Well, where was he? He was out loving another man. And that's his business. TK421, portrayed by actor Stephen Bailey in an uncredited role, was the stormtrooper stationed on the Death Star in Star Wars A New Hope, who was tasked with guarding the Millennium Falcon while the scanning crew boarded the ship to search for any inhabitants. Ultimately, TK421 and another stormtrooper responded to a call for help aboard the Falcon, which led them to both being ambushed by Han Solo and Chewbacca. Is this porn? Is this about to become pornography? Not on my watch. Let me read ahead. Okay, kids, I think it's all right. Uh, this led to the iconic line by the late Peter Sumner's uh, Lieutenant Paul Tedium. Tedium. TK421, why aren't you at your post? TK421, do you copy? Um, yeah, he does. Wait a second. Aren't Stormtroopers clones? 
did, were the stormtroopers in Star Wars Episode Four? Uh, were they still clone troopers left over before before the Emperor actually pulled them away? And uh, weren't does that mean does that mean like every stormtrooper is gay in Star Wars: A New Hope? Well, if one is, then all of them are. They're completely, they're, they're clones of each other. They're exactly the same. So that means all of the stormtroopers in Star Wars Episode Four are gay. Now think about them just shooting. They're, so when, when they're on the Death Star and they're shooting lasers, they're shooting lasers at an army of gay men. And the gay men are shooting back. It's a war. The gay men are shooting Han Solo and Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. And they're shooting back at the gay men, and sometimes they're hitting them. Armored gay men. I'm going to have to watch this movie again with this new uh, perspective in mind. Through these goggles, I'm going to have to watch Star Wars Episode Four again, uh, and so will you. I want you to watch Star Wars Episode Four again, and then just realize that all the stormtroopers are gay. Uh, and see what that does for the movie from your perspective. I mean... Uh, now, it might not be, uh, the Emperor did kind of decide at one point that, hey, these clone troopers, they're all susceptible to the same disease. That sounds a little homophobic. Uh, and uh, that's why we're going to get rid of them uh, and replace them with uh, people that we hire and train from birth to be stormtroopers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we're going to mind wipe them or whatever it was. Um, but yeah, did Star Wars A New Hope take place before that? Interesting possibilities. Interesting reveals. I Pablo Hidalgo answered this question. Are all of the stormtroopers in Star Wars A New Hope gay? Everybody would like to know. I think. All right. Uh, this new story in Star Wars, from a certain point of view, reveals that he got his post in the first place due to a secret gay romance he was involved in. Yeah, that's uh, how most people got their job at Lucasfilm, from what I understand. Uh, this previously untold tale is laid out in the story of MSEG, no, of MSE6 and Men by Glenn Weldon, uh, which is told from the point of view of G7, uh, an MSE6 series repair droid, also known as a mouse droid. You know, they look like little boxes and they scurry around on the floor, little shoe boxes that are on the run and they squeak. Why do they have to squeak? Uh, the droid was actually owned. Okay, so the, by the way, do you remember? Because Chewbacca roared at it, and then they went wah, 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 and uh, ran away in fear. It had already seen dreadful things, okay, according to this article. Dreadful things. Um, all right, so the droid captured a brief uh, hologram um, a recording of TK421. Um, I don't know what TK421 was doing in this recording, but whatever it was, it was accidentally playing... Uh, and, it, it, you know, running into an Imperial officer, the officer was smitten by the recording. The officer saw the little video, the selfie video of TK421. And he said, beautiful. And he sent a secret message back to the stormtrooper through the G7 droid, which TK421 used to his advantage to climb up the ranks and get a post guarding the Millennium Falcon. Sometimes you got to do it. Sometimes that's what you got to do. Uh, do what you got to do, TK421, uh, even if that means um, loving Grand Moff Tarkin, which is, I think, uh, what we understand. The Imperial officer was Grand Moff Tarkin. That's what we understand. So both of them are gay. But this is the stormtroopers are all gay, and Grand Moff Tarkin apparently was gay as well. Uh, the story sets up that TK421 wasn't terribly happy being stationed on the Death Star. That's sad. Uh, and wanted a new post on Coruscant. Coruscant. Uh, he ultimately used this Imperial officer's interest to help get a more desirable gig. Uh, sending the droid back with another message to give him something to get started with. A secret homosexual affair that ensued. With the stormtrooper and the Imperial officer continually erasing the droid's memories out of their secret tryst. <laughs> it's like, just it's get one of those little flashbang things from Men in Black. Like, the things that you've seen here, the things that you've seen me do uh, to Peter Cushing... Uh, we want you to forget those things, and and that's merciful. I mean, that poor droid. You don't need to. You don't need to see a stormtrooper uh, doing, um, you know, um, mm, uh, strange things to uh, the CGI Peter Cushing uh, as Grandma Tarkin. Do you? Do you want that in your memory banks? If you were a droid, would you want that in your memory banks? Yes or no? Leave it. Leave me a response in the message below in the comments. Um, yeah. There's some things that it doesn't need to see. Human being stuff. Ew! Sticky human being stuff. This is complicated and messy. Ew! Oh my god, ew! 
ultimately the affair paid off for TK421, uh, with the officer using his pool <laughs> to assign TK421 to, a st to station security, a much better post than he had with his task of guarding the Millennium Falcon, his first assignment in his new role uh, that ultimately led to him being ambushed aboard the Falcon. Yeah, this is definitely, you know. Uh, the anthology book also included tales that shed new light on other characters, like Grand Moff Tarkin. Now we're going to pretend that the uh, this guy was not Grand Moff Tarkin. Of course it was. Uh, and Admiral Mahdi, uh, which are all told from unique perspectives, uh, like the G7 droid. So uh, the perspective is down on the floor and looking up. All right, if that tells you anything. If that paints a picture for you, down on the floor and looking up and then having to be mind wiped afterwards because of human stuff, sticky human stuff. Uh, Boba Fett, blah, blah, blah. We get to hear what Boba Fett was thinking. Uh, during a scene that was added during the special edition, the New Hope or Han Solo has a brief chat with Jabba the... Are all of these gay stories? Is all of this... Uh, yeah, is all of this gay fanfic? I don't know. We'll have to check this book out. Uh, wow, this story with brief excerpts courtesy of Nerdist, the nudist, uh, would won't shed any light on Star Wars The Last Jedi or any other future movies. They will certainly help fans pass the time uh, until these movies hit theaters. So here is the scene right here with TK421. Uh, this man knows what's up. TK421, why aren't you at your post? And he knows it. Look at his face. He knows why he's not at the post. He knows why. Uh, yeah. All right, look, if you like this video, please like this video. Subscribe to this channel uh, for daily Star Wars content of the present. Not of the future, of the present, sometimes of the past. Appreciate you guys. I'll be back with another video later today. Bye-bye. Hey, want to follow me on Twitter? Okay, cool. I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. Talk to you there. Join the fandom menace and execute your own Order 66 with our incredible line of t-shirts. Soy Low, a Soy Wars story. Tico, a Soy Wars story. And our brand new smoking hot Soy Wars Plan 9. Make a statement today. This is the only trilogy you'll ever need. The link is below in the description. If you enjoyed this video and want to become part of this community, subscribe to this channel by clicking the Laughing Man Face logo right on your screen. Ring the bell for notifications as well. You'll never miss a live chat. And stay tuned, another video by Comic Artist Pro Secrets is coming right up.